Hello people of the internet. So this is a kind of flip through of Fantasy Faces by Hannah Lynn, but it's not because one of the things that I wanted um, and I couldn't find on YouTube when I was looking to buy this book was I didn't know whether to buy the big one or the little one and I only wanted one and a couple of people did a flip through of this one and they, uh, one person, I think two colourists had both and they kind of said yeah this is this exists as well and then they flipped through the big one and what I wanted to see was the two compared together so that you can see the size, the scale down that you get in the small one and also um, how much of the images have chopped off in the small one. So I am doing this video at a request from me <laughs> to compare the images in the two books. Now this is the line art and grayscale one because I know they just do a line art one and they just do a grayscale one, I think. But this is the, the one that has one line art, one grayscale. So let us start at the beginning. So it's going to be interesting to turn all the pages at the same time. I almost need a page turner, don't I? So, uh, uh, here we go. Let's tick that under there. So that's the introduction page and it is just a scaled down version of the of that page and then we get the um the little what are these would you call like little index of the pictures that are in the book probably an index so you only get 20 one two three four you get 16 on that and you get one two three four five you get 25 on that so that covers one page and i guess yeah that goes over all right so now we can see the size comparison so big little and how much is that page is chopped off not much actually because it's it's just really the edge her necklace is still in the top of her head is still in so that's not too bad let's we, we'll look at the one gray scale but then we probably don't need to look at all of the gray scales because they'll just be the same but in gray scale so that's the gray scale version then the next one is the steampunk girl and again it's just a resized version a little bit of the clock has been chopped off at the side a little bit of the hot air balloon but other than that all good two at a time and then we have this lady with a cupcake in her head <laughs> cupcake lady again just shrunk down a little bit of the ribbon at the side cut off but and uh, this hand, oh no, it's her sleeve, but the rest of her, beautiful. You know, if I'd have seen this flip through like this, comparing how much had been cut off, I'd have gone straight for the pocketbook in the beginning because I much prefer, you know, that's a big face to colour. Whereas that's, you know, not quite so big, is it? You know, I don't like colouring pages that are just all face and hair. I like smaller versions of it. So again, not much chopped off on that road sweepers just going past um, just a little bit of curls at the side of her hair top of the fox's uh, ears oh and I've just noticed in the mini book they are framed which is lovely because they're not in the big book so, next one is pirate girl and pirate girl so some of the background obviously her arms her hand holding her sword but other than that, all face and jewellery and everything is there. Okay, and then this is the girl reading the book. So pretty much just a shrunk down version. Both her shoulders are in. Top of the book's gone. The sugar shaker. And the side of the saucer. And the top of the window. They're the only bits that have really been chopped off. And then we have the girl with the dragon. Now we've lost quite a bit of the dragon. We've lost the side of her head there, uh, uh, pointed ears and her arm and a bit of the, bit of the dragon you can just about, oh, let's get this book spine over a little bit so yeah you can just about see his second eye but he's lost his his ear thing and whatever that's supposed to be but the main essence of the picture is there next one is uh, Fawn Girl or what are they called, the, the Fawn things like the thing in the line the witch in the wardrobe isn't it um pretty much all there i think 
she's lost the tips of her ears, lost the tips of her horns, but you can just generally see it's just a scaled down picture. Lovely. This is what I particularly wanted to see was how much of the pictures do you lose? Hey, lollipop girl as I'm calling her. Okay, she's lost all of her plaits down the side there. Uh, she's lost all of, uh, you know, this, all of the feet of this. Interestingly, most of her belt is in, but the bottom of that um, sweetie jar isn't. You can see some of that plait, but still, nice scaled down version. Okay, then the princess or the queen. I guess she's some kind of ice cream by the looks of this in the background. Um, she's all in. Uh, she's lost her arm going across. And some of these either frozen things or melted candle. And obviously you can't see her whole neck rough thing. But not too bad. Next one. Actually let's scroll, scroll through to the grayscale of the next one shall we. That's Elf Girl. Uh, she's lost a bit of her. All the mushrooms around the edges are missing. The bottom of the mushroom. This one probably isn't scaled as as usefully because this this could be she's like on a planet because you can't really see it's a mushroom really there it's lost the mushroom at the side but all the girl's head is in obviously um, and that's been chopped off there next one is the vampire girl but they've made sure it's all the way over so you can see the castle still all of her chest is still in apart from the bottom and then just been cut at the side for her hair that's not my favorite picture it's a very bland picture that one Another girl with pigtails with a little dragon round her neck. I'm hoping it's an alive dragon and not a dragon stole. But uh, you see the entire dragon, you see all her face, you see all that curl. Most of that curl, you get the essence of the picture there, not too much cut off. And then this one, it's a mermaid girl. Uh, I like the fact that you can see the, the beads there, you know, holding her bra. Whereas here you can't, so they could just be shells um, stuck <laughs> then she loses her arm a little bit top of her swirly hair but other than that quite a nice scaled down version next we have what would you say she was girl with a sword <laughs> uh, nice shrunk down version you're not losing much there uh, using some of this fur at the side which I wouldn't have been able to tell what that was from the small version I can't really tell what it was from the big version either I guess she's wearing some kind of furry thing um, I would in the small version I'd have just made that background but then look she's wearing furry trousers I'm guessing I probably should look up her name at the front to determine what she's supposed to be okay we're gonna call this one fruit girl <laughs> um, She's got some little grey wings in the background. Heads, she hasn't lost too much of her head. She hasn't lost too much of her fruit. That's a nice composition of that. Shrunk down nicely and not lost too much. Like that one. Um, next one. Oh, that's fine. Let's call this one Ice Princess. Uh, this one I think could have been shrunk down a little bit better because she's a lot of face and we've lost... Well, she hasn't lost a lot. She's still got both her earrings in. She's lost, it's only a half of the snowflake, but she's lost an awful lot of her hair at the back. So just a little bit smaller would have maybe not been nicer on that one. But yeah, Ice Princess. Next one. Oh, we've got the grayscale, so let's go into the grayscale one. Now, what is she? Bunny girl? Alice in Wonderland? She's got bunny ears or a hat. These are roses, but they're very cut off, so you can just see her hat, so you lose all of the side of this one. You can still see the flamingo, so they've favoured this side on this picture. She's very central in this one, and uh, she's obviously chopped off at that side. Let's have a look at the next girl. Oh, let's call this lady Water Lily. So that's exactly she's in the water and there's a water lily in front of her that's a nice composition i think we haven't lost too much you can see her bun her hair bun you can see the reeds in the background the water lily nicely focused in the middle yeah nice that one a nice shrink down and then this one she's lost the top of her hair there 
can see most of the books she's lost the entire candle so yet again on this one they're favored that side and chopped off a lot that side so the whole of the candle has gone and one of her wings is gone in fact when I if I was coloring this in the small version and hadn't seen the big one I wouldn't have known that she had wings I'd have just started coloring it and then wondered what that was <laughs> so uh, it is interesting when they cut the wings off and you only see one uh, oh this one is like the one from Alice in Wonderland isn't it the evil queen trying to get you to bite a um, apple and uh, so what have we lost here? A tiny little bit of the top, the entire bottom of the mirror. So you can't really tell that that's a mirror because you've lost the the frame. But the essence of the picture is there. Uh, yeah. Now I mean, now I've seen it as a frame. I uh, I can see that it's a frame. That is nice in grey scale. That one because that's like proper Snow Whitey picture, isn't it? Next one. Go in a teacup. Oh, so you can see both of her wings. That's how I prefer it when they've got wings. So you can see that that's wings. She's got wings and a horn. You can see the top of most of, you know, all of her hair, uh, all of the cup. Uh, is that a biscuit on the side? Two lumps of sugar. You, you get the whole picture. It's a good scale down that one. Yeah, I like that one. Obviously, she's lost the tips of her wings, but I still like the way that one's scaled. You can still see the essence of the picture. Lovely in grayscale again. Oh, Medusa. Very simplistic picture, this one. Um, you can see what it is. You can see she's got the snakes on her hair. You can see she's got the snakes around her. You've lost a, a snake head on that side and a snake head on that side. I mean, it's central. It's not really my favourite picture. You've lost her hand there, so you couldn't see, really see that she was holding a snake. But there you go. That's probably looks better in grayscale mm, maybe I don't like snakes very much so it's not really my cup of tea that one the one with the cup of tea was more my cup of tea okay then there's this one which is a girl in a bath what is that oh she's a mermaid in a bath so her hair's all hanging down there's a bath uh, it's an exact shrink down we've just lost the tip of her tail there the edges of the bath so I lost her elbow, but other than that, it's a nice, nice shrink down of that picture. Getting very close to the end there. Okay, not sure what this one is. It's a woman. Maybe it's Mother Nature. Because she's got whirlwind in her hand and lightning and everything, and she's got flowers growing. It's like she's owning all the seasons and all the flowers and all the bees and, and all the weather. And there's the waves in the background. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that one's Mother Nature. I'm gonna check afterwards and see but yeah that's a nice scale down that one because we've only lost a tiny little bit there our arms are fully in just a raindrop has been lost there a little bit of that flower there and that wave but other than that a nice scale down yeah and that is the last one so let's come and see go and see whether that one's called mother nature shall we 25 pictures yes it's called mother nature boom <laughs> what a good guess medusa teacup fairy Story time. Lotus. Eh. Poker Alice. Didn't have a good, didn't have a bad guess. Arctic Warrior, she was called. Sweet Starfish. Happy Hatchling. Queen of Fire. Anyway, there you go. Rambling on there, as I always do. But that is the pocket version versus the big version. And um, now I've done this flip flow, I, I know that I, I mean, I ordered this one first. And when it came, I was like, ah. It's a bit too facey for me, which is crazy because it's called fantasy faces, but the faces are really big. Um, so I knew that I wanted the small version, but yeah, I just wanted to see how much was cut off and maybe you did too. So thanks very much for watching and take care everyone. Bye.